So let's start. Mm. Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Tao Pan, and uh, I work for N Group. I'm also a Kata Containers um, Architecture Committee member, and uh, here today I'm to introduce, I'm here to introduce, introduce the Kata Containers Pseudo Zero. It's, uh, we have a virtualization optimized for Kata Container for Kata Native work workers, and uh, I also have a co-speaker Cao Wu, but he has some visa issues and. He couldn't make it here, but uh, we actually prepared this test together. So, let's start. Okay, this one. So the agenda. Then, I'll, first, I will talk about what is Kata Kernels and uh, these some um, bigger use cases of it. And also, because the project has been evolving for more than five years, and now, so I will introduce our architecture ev evolution in, the, in these years. And uh, then I will move on to Katakana 3 deep dives and uh, we will ex explain what we have many done in this Katakana 3 type development uh, time frame. And uh, also more about Katakana that uh, is not part of the, the, the new, um, new components, but uh, also very important uh, to mention features. And uh, we will we'll move on to some feature work. So first, what is card kernels? And when we first started the project, we, we have a slogan that says we have a speed of containers and the security of virtual machines. So that is many organized what is card kernels. We, we can look at this from a infrastructure involvement uh, um, trend actually. Because before we have virtualization, we, have, we already run many processes on the same host, and these processes are isolated by the process layer and on the host. And uh, next, when we, we have containers, we, we have all these Docker run C containers, then it is to isolate the, the previous process, and these, these, those are grouped into containers. They are isolated by Linux kernel C group and uh, name spaces. And uh, we, with that, we introduced the kata containers and uh, we add uh, another layer of isolation, that is the virtual machine. We, we, we put the container abstraction into a virtual machine so that you can run containers in virtual machine, but, uh, but in a container way. So instead of creating new virtual machines or you, you actually, you, when we started the project, you can run Docker, run containers, and also right now you have, we have Kubernetes, and you have, you can run Kubi Control, apply some polyamo and make it run in a virtual machine, but uh, it's, it's still container experience, so that's why we call it, we say we have, actually, we, we have a lot of optimization there, so it, it is fast, fast, way more faster than creating new virtual machines. So that's, that's why we say we have speed of container and security of VMs. So what's it, what about the project? The Katakana's project is right now an op, uh, open infra foundation top level project and uh, we have many developers around the world, some, some, something like more than 200 contributors and from to more than 20 organizations and uh, more than 100 uh, supporting companies for this. There are, there are some pictures for the, when we have event and, and uh, Super User Award next year, last year for this. And uh, the, why containers? Well, why we need a new container implementation instead of just using the container, the run container. So we have at, right now two main um, use cases. The first one is the multi tenancy scenario. So, for example, you, if you run some public cloud, you, you have to run some untrusted application and uh, workloads in your, in, your, in your container. So if you are running, running run C container that is not considered secure enough, you, then uh, this untrusted code can actually attack. We have several CVEs in the, in the past for, for container breach. And uh, we, that's why we need uh, uh, the virtual machine and the second layer of isolation. 
so that we can we can have actually have multi tenancy to to run different uh, workloads from different uh, users. Then that is also untrusted. So what Katakana's advantage in this use case is we ha we have stronger as secure security isolation. We have lower overhead and uh, then th 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 is compared to to a normal virtual machine because we. In Katakana's, the virtual machine is highly optimized, optimized. so we have lower, lower overhead and a quick start time and a higher concurrency because we can run high density or close. Then that is too sensitive to high, content, high density virtual machines on the same host. And also the multi cell SLO scenario, so, so that, that's another use case when we run containers when we deploy containers in some product in private cloud for example users are usually have different requirements on different applications and uh, those applications are not expected to interfere each other in the performance and uh, fault, um, fault isolation point of view so 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 with containers with the second layer of virtual machine isolation we have stronger performance isolation, so different processes and do not, different containers do not interfere with each other because they have different kernel entities, so the kernel threads are isolated. And also stronger fault isolation, we have use cases that uh, when, uh, when an application crashes, for example, or goes out of memory, there, are, there, there can be a lot of system jitter if we run it uh, with one container. But uh, with cut containers, the, these jitters are gone. So next, we we look at the architecture ev evolution. So we right now we have we, we are at three uh, zero and uh, we start with one dot x error, and that's the beginning of VM based content VM based containers. We introduce the cut containers and the compatible component. It is it pretends itself to be a run C command line at this point of, from command line interface point of view, you can, when Docker calls one C with different options, we accept the same, exactly the same options as run C. So it's a drop in replacement of run C. But uh, the architecture is kind of complex because in the, here we have container D for each process, for each con process in the container, we have a container D shim. We have we also have a kata shim, and was we have a globe um, per pod kata proxy for it. So it's a bloom in the host process point of, from the host process point of view. So next, we we involved we worked together with container D to solve the um, too many shim problem. So. Canard introduced the Shim V2 API and uh, we 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 cut the is the first to attempt to it and uh, instead of having having to have many shims for, for a pod, we have a single single shim here for a uh, for a pod in Canard D Shim V2 process. So in the two dot X era we also replaced the nine PFS with Vertal FS it's an Mm. It's a color feature from red, contributed by Red Hand, and it's way, way more faster than IPFS and uh, have better process comp compatibility. And also, we supported the device passwords to bring more performance to the to, to the containers. And uh, have we we have rewritten the card agent. Then then it was that then it was re written in Go language and uh, we. We rewrote re it uh, in Rust, to so the RSS of the agent re was reduced from 11 megabyte to about 300 kilobytes. So after that, we 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 started to work on Katakana 3, and uh, it's most it has more simpl simplified uh, control plane. There is only the on the on the host. Instead of having, you know, we, in the previous architecture, we still have different processes. We have a one shim, a uh, vertex, vertex SD 
process or, or analysis process, and we have a, a virtual machine manager that, that is such as QMU or Cloud Hypervisor. We, we have at least three processes for a port on the same, on, on, on the host. And uh, in Cloud Container 3, we have only one process for, for a port. That, that is um, done through have rewritten the color scheme process in Rust. So because we, we have a Rust team, we, and also we, we introduced a uh, Rust, Rust VM based hypervisor that is called a Dragon Ball. So we, with this, we, we also have built in image man management. So, so now we combined the shim, the Kernel D shim, the Vertifest, the Vertifest D process, and uh, the virtual machine manager into a single shim in Kata Kernels. And so th this allows us to have increased performance. We have in Vertifest D, in NetSD support, and we, ha and, uh, we have mm, re reduced the the overhead of the mostly the memory overhead because we have this process. The Golang runtime is very dependent on memory memory because if 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 you start just start a Golang process, several tens of megabytes and this is gone. But uh, with with the Rust fed runtime and uh, virtual machine manager, we 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 are managed to have this memory consumption here. So that's the overview. Let's take a look at uh, the details. So first, the color color 3 arch architecture. I'm not going to explain the, the, pro the craft here is way more complex, but uh, what's still here, we have a built-in hypervisor that is called Dragon Ball. And also, we, we have written the, the Go, Go, Go version runtime into Rust. And, we will name it runtime dash rs, and we we have multiple sandbox implementations. For example, instead of just having to having run a run a pod in a virtual machine, we we are working on this. This is working in progress. We are working on running uh, running pods in Watson sandbox, and also because earlier the we. When, when we introduced uh, the SIMV2 support of, of, of color colors, the, um, the Docker support is, was dropped because Docker was not adapted to counter the SIMV2 at that time. And uh, we, in the color 3 time frame, we worked with developers from Ventis. Actually, we, we have a talk later tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have a talk with, with him to explain what, what how we we enable the Docker with Kata containers, and but uh, in at a high level we 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 have returned the, the Docker support. So now with Kata three, we can run, just simply run Kata uh, run Docker run containers, and uh, again in Kata in in Kata uh, with Kata under the under this. So. Um, in Kata 3, the most question we got is why we have another hypervisor drinkable? Why, why not just use KMU, just use Kata hypervisor, just use Firecracker instead of why introduce another? So we, we, first, first of all, we still support KMU, we still support Kata hypervisor, we still support Firecracker. So why another? KMU is, you see, that, that's why people are working on Rust. Rust uh, VVM, uh, that's why we have Cloud Hyperware, we have Firecracker, but uh, Cloud Hyperware was supposed to be a Cumul, a kind of Cumul, uh, the Rust version of Cumul, so it has way more broader targeting use cases. And uh, Firecracker is very light and fast, but uh, it lacks a lot of features that we want in color containers, so such as PCI support there. So, so we introduced uh, Dragon Ball. That is still based on Rust VM. It's a common, common code base for color, color hypervisor and Firecracker. And uh, with Dragon Ball, we have more optimization opportunities for color containers. So, so to, to be brief, is Dragon Ball is a hypervisor specially designed for color containers. So why? 
So when you look at it, um, hyper, um, Dragon Ball is um, specially designed why it has out of box installation support. You can run it very easily and uh, it is optimized for containers and the, it's still very fast and uh, very light and uh, most importantly it is production ready. So look, when you look at it, um, why Django Boy is out of box? So that Django Boy is the reason that we can do, we, we can have a single process per container or per port on, on the host because uh, the, it is in Rust and we have a Rust version runtime. We have written most, most of the host components in Rust and uh, we put it in a single process. And also it is container optimized. Uh, instead of having to have separate vertex SD and NetSD process to, pro to support uh, passing the container rootfs to the, to the guest, we, with Dragon Ball, we have built-in support for vertex and NetSD. NetSD is an um, image service project uh, that supports to very fast uh, container container image pooling so, so that we can spawn the container very, very quickly instead of having to block on the image pooling stage of, for starting new containers. But, but uh, again, with, with Django Ball, the, these two are all built in into the VMN. So it, it's, uh, we, that's why we think it is container op optimized. And also, Django Ball is very light light and fast uh, when we compare Dragon Ball with Kata 2.4.3 uh, plus QMU. And uh, we, c we can see that uh, this container startup time is reduced uh, dramatically and the memory consumption was reduced uh, dramatically as well. And uh, it, it, can, it is, two, po uh, it is two, top two times lighter and uh, 1.5 or 1.8 times faster instead of in terms of startup time. And also it is production ready. It has a lot of um, features already and we are, we are working on um, pushing the code out uh, in a open source manner. So because uh, that it, it was developed uh, in-house by Alibaba and, and group and, and uh, it is running in production with ten, hundreds of thousands of containers. So. So when we so when we ended to cut containers, this feature is supposed expected to be production ready. And more about cut containers. So what about the go runtime? We do do we just stop it? No, definitely not. In cut containers three, the go go runtime is not considered legacy. It is supported officially, and it will be supported. As long as people wanted, so so we we actually are working on the go runtime as well, and we added a lot of features here. And it, firstly, we have GPU VFI also support that was done by some by developers from both Red Hat and uh, Media, and also we had we have host C group with C support, and we we have added. Um, GDX and SCV support for the confidential container use case. And we switched from a C version of VertiveSD to a last version of VertiveSD that was also developed by Red Hat. And uh, the Go runtime has, has also supported uh, the uh, Docker as well. And uh, we updated the uh, QMU, Color Hyperviral, and Firecracker to the latest, latest stable version to have more, uh, more hypervisor features for the users. And uh, worth to mention the support for confidential containers. Folks are very interested in, in this feature and the confidential container is something that expands the Kata containers um, thread model because for Kata containers, what we used to focus on is to protect the infrastructure so, so that users cannot attack the host. That's why we have a virtual machine there 
but uh, with confidential containers, we are also protecting the workloads so that the, ho the anyone on the host cannot access the, the contents in the, in, in the container because first of all, the, the, all the memory is encrypted and also even the, the CPU registers are, in, are encrypted as well. All the cache lines are encrypted. So that uh, even, even if someone hacked in, in, the, in the host, they, cannot, they still cannot see anything in, in the container. So how, how do you do it? So it's just, just about, uh, right, right now it's, we have Intel TDX support for QMU and Cloud Hypervisor. And also we have supported uh, IBM SMP feature and also the, a lot of artifacts and uh, specific runtime class to this so that uh, we users can easily run, run confidential containers with, with Kubernetes right now. So future work. So what's next? Mm, and with Cloud 3 being released uh, that last year, we are, right now we are focusing on some, something in this year here. So first uh, with in the last one time case, we are, we are active, actively working on, because the, 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 the component is new, newly written. So we are working on hardly to make it production ready. Because earlier I mentioned that Dragonmo is production ready, but uh, the runtime RS was written new, it was really newly written, and uh, it still have lacks of several important features, and it, we are working on to make it as stable as, as possible. For example, it, right now it only supports Dragonball, but uh, we have developers from Intel, from Sure, from also from Red Hat, yeah, sure. To to work on the multi hypervisor support, uh, so that folks can run, can run this with different hypervisors as well. And also, in the confidential container use case, we was we are working on image pooling on the host over with verification. Because right now with confidential containers, because we we wanted it to be sick to be wanted the image, container image to be secret as well. We are putting the image in the gift, but uh, it will be slow because even if you have put, run the, run, the, run the container on the host for once, and the next time you start the same container with combination containers, you have to wait the container image to be fully pulled as well. But uh, we are, we are work, work on, work, working on And uh, also GPO. Mm, we, with non-confidential containers, we have all the GPU support ready, but uh, with confidential containers, the GPU memory is not encrypted yet. We, we are working with the media developers to actually have a GPU ready solution for confidential containers as well, so that the folks can run their, for example, run their trainings, run their models in confidential containers. This is actually very important to support the AI use case in, for example, some data sensitive in, in use cases for such as medical and uh, financial in the cloud. And also, we are looking at more features as well. Firstly, we, we want to have service mesh in, in, in infrastructure protection. Right now, because right, right now, when we run service service mesh workloads, the sidecar is actually running the guest, and uh, it's, it is, it is uh, an infrastructure component, but it is not actually protected from the um, thread mode cut, from cut thread mode, thread model point of view, because because uh, the actually workload containers can attack the infrastructure container in that sense, so. We, we want to make service, service mesh infrastructure safe in Qatar's use case as well. And also, well, as, as mentioned earlier, we are, we are working on more sandboxing implementation. The first one is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is expected to come very soon. 
and uh, we, are, we are also working with Container D community to have uh, the Container D sandbox API support. So earlier, we, with Container D shim v2, it, it has better kata support, but it does, still doesn't have, one thing it next is that it doesn't have a abstraction for sandbox. With, with the new sandbox API abstraction, we, we are finally end that abstraction back to the, to the interface between Container D and Kata, and uh, this will further improve the, the density and the, the startup speed for Kata containers as well. So that's all for the talk. Any questions? So no questions, or that's okay. Thank you, thank you for, for coming.